Hi, and welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new change to the 2025 edition of NFPA 13, standard for the installation of sprinkler systems. And that change is the addition of limitations to sprinklers installed in ceilings over 30 feet or 9.1 meters for non-storage installations. Now prior to the 2025 edition of NFPA 13, there was no restrictions for sprinkler designs for high ceilings in non-storage installations. In fact, let's go to the 2022 edition of NFPA 13 right now. If we go down to Chapter 9, Sprinkler Location Requirements, we can see in the very beginning we have requirements that say sprinklers shall be installed throughout the premise. Now if we go into the Annex of 9.1.1, we'll see some language here that says, based upon experience and testing, sprinklers have been found to be effective and necessary at heights in excess of 50 feet or 15 meters. For a building to meet the intended level of protection afforded by NFPA 13, sprinklers must not be omitted from such high ceiling spaces. Alright, with that background, let's look at the changes to the 2025 edition. To change editions, let's go to the 2022 NFPA 13, and in the bottom left hand part of the screen, you'll see Change Edition, and we'll click on the 2025 edition, and click Change Edition one more time. By this point, you've probably noticed that I've specified we're looking at ceiling heights for non-storage applications. And the reason for this is, if we go down to chapters 20 through 25, which are your requirements for high pile storage, there are actually tables throughout these chapters that do specify a maximum ceiling height. For example, let's go to chapter 23. I'll scroll down a little bit, and the first table we run into does specify a maximum ceiling or roof height. This is not new to the 2025 edition, but enough about that, let's go to the stuff that is new. The requirements that I want to talk about today are located in Chapter 19, Design Approaches. That's because they're modifications to the Density Area Design Approach. Let's check it out. The new section is 19.2.3.2.5, and as you can see on the screen here, it's titled Sprinklers for Ceiling Heights Over 30 Feet or 9.1 Meters. Keep in mind that this is a subsection of 19.2.3.2, which is the density area design method. Now this new section is broken down into two subsections. This first one doesn't have a title, and the second subsection is titled Sprinkler Design Areas for Ceiling Heights Over 30 Feet or 9.1 Meters. Let's first take a look at this first section, which lists several situations where certain sprinklers are not permitted in combination with a ceiling above 30 or 40 feet, 9.1 to 12.2 meters. Now, I'll go through some of these items pretty quickly. First, sidewall sprinklers are not permitted for use in ordinary hazard group 1 and higher occupancies with a high ceiling. Sprinklers having a nominal K factor of less than K11.2 or K160 on the metric scale shall not be permitted for use in ordinary hazard group 2 and higher occupancies with a high ceiling. Extended coverage pendant sprinklers having a nominal K factor of 22.4 or less, which is K320 on the metric scale, they're not permitted for use in ordinary hazard group 2 and higher occupancies with a high ceiling. And then item C, standard response standard coverage sprinklers are not permitted for use in ordinary hazard group 2 occupancies, but here, instead of having that 30 foot or 9.1 meter ceiling height limitation, here that ceiling height is 40 feet or 12.2 meters. This second section contains requirements that will either require minimum K factors, a minimum design density, or an increase in the design area. So in item A, for ordinary hazard group 1 occupancies with a high ceiling, the design areas obtained from table 192311, which is your design area criteria table, those need to be increased by 30%. Item B, ordinary hazard group 2 occupancies with a ceiling between 30 and 40 feet or 9.1 and 12.2 meters need a minimum density of 0.37 gallons per minute per square foot, which is 15.1 millimeters per minute with the design area obtained from our, our design criteria table. 
In item C, for ordinary hazard group 2 occupancies, where the ceiling height is over 40 feet or 12.2 meters, they have three requirements. The first is to use a minimum density of 0.45 gallons per minute per square foot or 18.3 millimeters per minute. And the second one is to increase the design area by 30%. But then item three says you don't have to increase by 30% where you're using extended coverage sprinklers having a minimum nominal K factor of K25.2 or K360. And finally, extra hazard group 1 and group 2 occupancies in item D, where the ceiling height is over 30 feet or 9.1 meters, then there's a minimum density of 0.45 gallons per minute per square foot, which is 18.3 millimeters per minute in combination with your standard design area obtained from your design criteria table. And that about wraps up the new requirements for the sprinkler design impacts of high ceilings. I hope that provided a thorough overview and keep in mind that from now on, you'll have to make sure that the owner specifies the ceiling height as part of the owner's certificate so we can determine whether or not these new requirements apply. For more information about how NFPA Link gives you the knowledge you need to get the job done right, visit nfpa.org link.